I'm Haley, one of the educators at Discovery Space. The short days and long nights of winter bring a unique set of challenges for plants, insects, humans, and other animals. The colder temperatures, increased snowfall, decreased amount of sunlight, and harsher winds may feel unpleasant to some, but the fact of the matter is that winter is a time for preparation and recovery. There are so many beautiful things happening in winter, even if they're hard to see at first. And I hope that after watching this video, you'll be able to find the beauty too. The reason that many people think of winter as a dead or dormant period is that a large number of trees are missing their leaves. Trees that lose their leaves to prepare for winter are called deciduous trees. Some examples are maples and birch. You may have noticed that some trees, such as oaks, hold on to withered leaves without dropping them. This is called marcescence. The trees that keep their leaves throughout winter are called evergreen. Conifers, including white pine and eastern hemlock, which is Pennsylvania state tree, keep their needle-shaped leaves throughout the winter. To put it simply, there are three basic ways that animals survive winter. Certain species of insects and animals may travel to a different location during winter. This is called migration. The cause could be to find mates, warmer weather, or a secure supply of food. Popular examples are the monarch butterfly, hummingbirds, and Canadian geese. Some animals will slow their metabolism down so their body requires less energy or food during exceptionally cold weather. Bears, skunks, and raccoons can enter a state of torpor, which can be anywhere from 24 hours to a few weeks where they slow down their metabolism. True hibernators such as the groundhog stay inactive for the entire winter and their heartbeat can drop as low as five beats per minute. Then there are the animals that not only stick around, but stay active throughout the winter. And we call this toleration. Think of white-tailed deer, foxes, coyotes, and barred owls to name a few. Having a layer of snow on the ground also makes it easier to spot their tracks. Snow and ice not only form scenic landscapes, but play an important role as they begin to melt. Water produced by snowmelt plays an essential part in the water cycle, keeping streams flowing in warmer months and refilling reservoirs used for drinking water. Snow also has the endearing nickname of poor man's fertilizer among gardeners because snowflakes absorb nitrates from the atmosphere that will be released into the snow as snow melts. Snow also insulates buds, bulbs, and roots, keeping them from losing moisture and helping them stay prepared for spring. While I won't argue that winter provides the perfect days to bundle up with a cup of hot chocolate, I encourage you to put on some layers and step outside. You'll find that there's a lot more than first meets the eye. Thank you.